guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me. Um, I just got out of the shower and so I'm fixing to put on my oils and my moisturizers on my face and then I will start on my hair. It's not going to be anything too fancy because let's be honest, I am not fancy. So I'm going to put my oil on my face. I try not to get it too much underneath my eyes. Right, I'm going to put that on and let that sit for just a minute and then I will put on my moisturizer. Okay, it doesn't really take too long for it to soak into my skin because I have some dry skin. Okay, and while I'm letting that um, kind of sink into my skin or soak up into my skin, I'm going to spray my hair with some mousse. I've been using this. Um, it's a root booster. I have really fine hair, but this does wonders for my hair. I love it. Or so far, I'm loving it. When you don't have to, there's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. Cause you don't listen, babe. All right. Now that I put that in my hair and got it kind of blended at my roots, I will start drying my hair. Normally it just like lays flat to my head and this may not be a whole lot of volume for the people who have really thick coarse hair but this volume is amazing. Normally I don't get this much volume. So I really do like it and I recommend it for fine hair if you have hair like me. Also what I do after I dry my hair is um, I'll like fold flip my head over and do a cool um, cool blast of, with the hair dryer over my hair. I also use this, I'm almost out of it, but I use this um, after I dry my hair because if I don't, um, I used to wash my hair like every day, sometimes twice a day because it was so greasy um, or it gets so greasy, but I've tried going at least a day without washing my hair. And so if I don't use this after I wash my hair, um, the next day I cannot go without washing it just because it's so oily. So um, what I do is I go ahead and put my dry shampoo in my hair after I have blown it dry. And then I will let it sit for a little bit before I brush it out. And not only does this add for the volume and texture to my hair, but I can go at least a day without washing it. In one of those lucid dreams. In one of those lucid dreams. Oh, yeah. Wait. You gotta tell me what. Normally, when I'm letting this sit, I'll use my primer for my makeup. I have been using, er, I'm dropping stuff. Of course, this is super small because I just wanted to test it out. I just wanted to test this out. So it's like the sample size, but I, I do like it. It's the first, I guess, um, primer that I feel like actually works on my skin. If you have any recommendations of a different primer that would work even better, let me know. But anyway, so that's what I've been using. And so after I get done with my dry shampoo, I'll let that sit and I'll put this on my face. I also put this on my eyes. I know they say not to, 
because it can like make it crazy or maybe I don't know maybe I misunderstood that maybe you can't put it on there but I did have like actual eye primer but I have ran out so I've just been using my regular primer and like I said I'm not a professional so I don't really even know what I'm doing I just do what I feel like works best for me and granted it's probably not even that great of a job which I know it's not but like I said, it's, uh, I'm okay with it. So. I'm sure people out there are cringing. Alright, so I let that set. Let my hair set. I've let my hair set just a little bit longer. And normally while I do that, I start like trying to clean up a little bit. Um, so it's not a huge mess after I'm all done. And then I'll start and get whichever tool I'm going to use on my hair, like either my straightener or um, my crimper or my just my curling iron. I'll get those plugged up and I'll get them um, getting warm while I'm putting on my makeup. I have not <laughs> used this in a while, so I'm thinking that I'm probably going to use this today. It is the um, Bedhead Wave Artist. I really do like this. Um, I like it a lot actually. I use it, well I did use it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so that's probably what I'm going to be using today. Alright, so now that I've let my um, primer set for a little bit and I've let my hair, um, I'm going to brush that out. Alright, so now that is all brushed out, I'm going to start on my foundation. Now I'm going to use some setting powder to get underneath my eyes. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you, yeah. When the sun goes down and the night skies fall in, do you believe in one time lovers? Cause deep inside of my wildest dreams, you'll be by my side. done my eyeshadow. I'll do my mascara. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give into the pressure. Uh oh. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. All right, so I've done my eyeshadow and my uh, mascara, and obviously my foundation. So I'm going to do some bronzer and some blush. And yes, I put 50 million coats of mascara on. That's just me. Cause this pressure's really bringing me down. I wish I had the guts to start a conversation with someone. Just be who I am, not care so much about first impressions. Alright, 
that's my makeup look. Like I said, nothing too fancy. Nothing fancy at all, actually. But that's it. And so now I'm fixing to fix my hair. I'm gonna brush it out real quick. Make sure there's no tangles. And then I'm gonna pull back a little bit of it. I think I do about like three sections, I think. I haven't done this in a while, so I can't remember. I'm gonna twig that up with one of these little clips. And then I'm going to even section this off into two separate things. I use this hairspray. Big sexy. And I'm just gonna give it a little spritz. That was totally not on my hair. I'm to like spray it right directly because I don't want it to be like stiff. And then I'm just gonna brush it out so it dispersed throughout the hair and don't stay in one spot okay all right then I'm gonna take my little uh, bed head wave and no everybody like does this differently so you do what works best for your hair. I've tried different techniques and I just prefer the way I've done it. Like I said, it may not be your cup of tea. You may not like the way I do it, but I like it and that's all that matters because it's my hair and I'm my head. Product. It's not gonna stay like this, I promise. I'm just gonna kind of let it cool and then I'm going to flanangle it how I want it. But this is how it looks as of right now. Alright, guys, so this is the finished product. Like I said, I am no hairstylist or makeup artist. Uh, I just do what I feel works best on me or for me. I hope you enjoyed. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you as part of our YouTube family and to come with us on this journey. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.
Please like, comment, and subscribe.